Okay, Aaron Smith here with Fix All Cell. Um, I'm having some requests for how to reassemble the LG G2. Um, I made the video that showed you how to take it apart, and now I'm gonna try to make a video that shows you how to put it back together. Um, you know, pretty basic. Big thing you just obviously just follow the steps in reverse from the previous video on how to um, how to do it. Um, but I want to show you some kind of the steps here. Um, so I can get you going because there's there's a couple tricky things, especially putting the LCD onto the frame because um, there's these connectors and they have to go in a certain way. So um, first thing you want to do is you want to get some sort of adhesive and tape around here so that'll hold the frame in. This phone fits in the frame pretty easily without it, but of course it's gonna come up and come loose and stuff. So definitely want to do that. This is the stuff that I use. Um, it's just double-sided sticky tape. Um, I got this on eBay for a couple bucks. Here's kind of what it looks like. Um, this is sticky. So you put this on the frame or on the back of this um, LCD. And then basically you just peel this, this part off. I'm gonna, uh, it takes a, a, quite a few minutes. I don't want to make this video super long. So I'm going to put a couple on here and um, and see if I can get you guys started and I'll probably be skipping, pausing and skipping through because I don't want this video to be like 40 minutes um, so but yeah, just anyways, just take some scissors I'm going to make a strip to go from here to here so I'm going to do it all the way around so I'm lining this up with to see how long it's supposed to be and I cut it and then hopefully you can see this but I'm taking my hand here and just, yeah, I'm going to have to do it down here. I'm putting this little strip here on the side. So we got a strip there. And then I'll put another strip on the other side. Using the scissors to cut it. Oop. Yeah, I think I'm still on the camera there. So that's going to help hold the sides of the LCD down when we put it down. Now I'm going to put some strips up here on the top part and the bottom. Now notice up here there's, you know, you got your camera, proximity sensors. This is the, what the, um, this plug slides into. That's going to go into there. So I don't want to put tape around those, obviously, because that's going to mess things up. Same thing down here. There's a, this is where the bottom plug goes in and then that piece of course but so I'm going to cut pieces and just just measure it up so it's kind of like arts and crafts time um, sometimes this job consists of arts and crafts so I'm taking these little pieces and then kind of just trimming and lining it up have a little extra piece here, so I'm going to use that. Set it up there. Maybe I can get this done pretty quick. I won't have to pause it. You know, you're welcome to use whatever works. Just something sticky, you know. If you're really on a budget, you probably could just go to the store. Or if you don't have access to, you know, to get eBay or you know, I don't know, PayPal has been cutting you off or something. Anyways, you can go to, um, you know, go to the store and just buy some double-sided scotch tape. That'll probably, I never tried it, but that'll probably work. Of course, it might, it might be hard to get that cut and lined up every, and everything right, but it will work. Okay, so we got the bottom set up there. See that there? Now I'm going to work on the top. I'm about five minutes into this thing already, so... Top I'm going out here, I'm being careful not to cover those proximity sensors with the camera. So I'm having to kind of cut around. Last thing I want is to put this together and then... And then you go to, to use your front-facing camera and there's a big black line through it because the tapes you know, cover up the lens. So, also if you cover up those proximity sensors, 
And when you make a phone call, the, the phone won't shut off correctly or won't stay on, which will be a real pain in the butt. You'll be probably you'll be on a phone call and you'll be pressing the buttons and and it'll do stuff like that. So make sure you don't get make sure those things are clear. So now on other phones, you want to make a border all the way around to keep the dust out. That's because the LCD and digitizer are separate. Since this LCD and digitizer are all sealed together, no dust is going to get in there, so it's not a big deal. The goal here is more to keep it from coming up versus keeping dust out. So we got that all ready to go. Now the next step, and this is all I'll probably fast forward here, I'm going to take these little tweezers, you can see that, and I'm going to peel this white part off so it's sticky all the way around. So that one's done. And now I'm going to go ahead and pause this. I'm going to take them all off so I'm not, you're not spending another five minutes watching me take this off. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I got all the tape off. So now it's all, it's all that little black sticky shiny stuff there. That's all sticky. Now here's the tricky part is I'm putting this on. So there's two parts to it. There's this connector here, Let's see if I can, and then there's this part here. This part, the top portion, goes into this slot here. This bottom portion, this little plug here, actually goes into there. So you want to make sure you do that. So then this top part is going to go into this slot right up there. So I do the bottom first because this. That's another trick is when you fix phones, if you have a long cable, that one can wait for a bit. Short cables have to go in first, you know, kind of just the laws of physics. Um, thing is, you know, you'll, you'll learn as you do more phones, but, um, so yeah, I think shorter, that's what you want to try that first. Longer, you can, you have more flex on it, more give on it. So what I'm doing here, if you can see that hopefully, is I'm putting this piece in here, and I'm going to make sure that this bottom, these both pieces are going in. So they both went in pretty good. So now the top piece, like I said, has a lot of flex. So I can bend that a little bit. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm trying to line that up with the slot. Then that went in. So looking back here, everything looks like it went through pretty good. So now I'm going to try to just line it up. Sometimes this thing gets caught up, so I'm pushing that down. And we got enough flex, enough give in there, so it'll snap onto the the piece. And now I'm just going around the edges and just kind of pushing it down. Of course, be gentle. If you push too hard, you might break your LCD. Um, it's going to probably raise a little bit in some places. That's fine. Um, for now, that's good. And then when I'm, when I'm finished, I'm going to heat this up a little bit, and that'll help it stick. And then I'll kind of push down a little bit more. If for some reason it's just it's, you don't like it, put some more sticky tape on it, you know. This one does seem a little looser than normal, but that's okay. We're going to let it go. So now the next step is to start, you know, we, we took our pieces off from uh, right to left. Now we're going to go from left to right and put them back together. So taking the first piece, which is this guy. This part's a little tricky. So these guys are going to lay flat there. And these bend, and actually, this sits like that on top of the um, on top of this piece here, and this actually snaps onto it. But to put that on, you kind of want to keep them sticking up a little bit. Just something I've realized. So next thing I do is I'm moving these cables out of the way, and I'm going to start to put this into place, being very gentle. And those cable, these uh, plugs go in between that little slot there, both of them. So sometimes this is, can be a pain. Be careful! I don't want to break any transistors or anything on this um, on this device. So I'm just being very careful. Slide that over. It'll go in there. There it goes. Now there's a little slot there. Now this cable needs to be out from underneath, so I'm pulling that out of the way, and there's also that black cable. I'm pulling that out of the way with my tweezers here. Come on, there we go. 
So everything's out of the way. Now I'm kind of just lining this up. There's a couple little holders for it. See this little guy right here? That's a holder and there's another holder on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and line that up with that. Oh man, it's been kind of a pain. Kind of hard to do with the, with the you know, I'm kind of sitting here sideways because I'm trying to film this. But um, that kind of needs to just get moved over. That popped into place there, kind of. Looks like, looks like we got it. And this just needs to come down and clip into place. Well, maybe not. There we go. So now I'm snapping that plug into place. There it goes. That kind of just sits down like that. Sometimes you gotta put some uh, tape on that. Your screen gets static. I'm gonna actually I will put some a little bit of electrician tape on it. The phone has some original blue tape on there. The uh, the old LCD screen. I just throw a little electrician tape on there. Looks like that's just a bunch of transistors, from what I could tell. But I'm just trying to. Getting that piece connected in. And now I'm going to throw a little tape on that and I'm going to plug those cords in. So, in the meantime, I'm going to do this, this top piece first. So I'm connecting this back into place. I always want to connect the pop connector in first and then set the, uh, the wing piece, if that's what you want to call it back down afterwards so everything is back down on there this one's not seems to be sitting exactly right but I think we'll be okay now I'm putting this little um, connector kind of pushing it back down there's a little knob that's, that this hole sits on so I'm just lining it up with that because that way it's going to be in the exactly where it needs to be to connect to the um, the speaker piece, this this piece here. So it got lined up just right. Okay, now this top connector, that's for the probably the digitizer or the touch part of the phone that connects right there. Making sure everything is kind of down nice and snug. Checking these bottom connectors, make sure they're on there nice and snug. Okay. I'm going to put these little antennas back in place. If I can get it. There it goes. Now I'll throw some tape on that. And I'll put this white piece on the white uh, antenna. So just got a little bit of electrician tape. You know, anything that's non-conductive um, tape will work. Because I put this on once and the screen kept on like flashing like white lines and stuff. I thought I had a bad screen. But it turned out that this antenna was sitting on there. I think that was causing some sort of interference or noise with the um, the uh, quality of the screen. So now I just I put a little bit of tape on this thing to make sure that nothing's inter interfering with it. Yeah, it gave me a little bit of a scare because I was like, well, at first I I had bent the screen or something. But it turned out that that's all it was, so... Oh, come on. There, that's connected into place. Okay, so that's kind of what we're looking at. Now I'm going to turn it on. Make sure everything works. Oops, something's up with the screen. It's probably not connected. Yep, it was a little loose. Hopefully that's all that was, so let's see. Turn it back on. Okay, come on, phone. I think it's got a dead battery. This thing was pretty low.
Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it scared me a little bit there. Thought maybe something was wrong. But yeah, it's looking pretty good, so just gotta let this thing charge. I'll let this charge for a few minutes, and then I'll be back and we'll finish putting it together. Okay, I have some faith in this. The reason why you want to kind of check it before you, you want to turn your phone on before you put it all back together. So you want to make sure your LCD screen works. Um, you know, they sometimes if you buy an LCD screen on eBay, I don't recommend buying the cheapest one if you can help it because they're usually they're crap and they don't work. It's kind of a scam, and then you have to deal with all sorts of nonsense. Um, if you put it together, they give you a hard time saying, "Oh, well, you put it together, so you broke it," you know, stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so anyways, I made sure that the thing turned on, so I'm pretty confident the touch is going to work as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put it together, um, so I want to sit around and wait for that. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to take this little uh, microphone, put that in here, back into its boot assembly. And then we have the actual boot here. And then I'm going to, this is a little tricky. It might take you a few times. I'm using these little tweezers. I'm kind of just pushing into place. I don't know if you can see that or not, but kind of just pushing down on that. Trying to get it to go in there. You definitely don't want to um, you definitely do not want to forget this piece or you know if you lose it, you kind of kind of sucks because when you talk to people on the phone, They'll, they'll hear all the background wind, and it might be muffled, um, all sorts of stuff. So it, it kind of ruins the, the cell phone call quality. Um, so, yeah, I definitely don't want to lose that piece. If you do, you know, I'd, I'm sure you can find them on eBay for pretty cheap because it's a pretty cheap piece. But, yeah, it's going to be hard to, for people to hear you. If you're fixing a phone for someone else, they're going to come back and probably complain or they're going to be not happy because now their phone, no one can hear them on the phone or they they come across garbled or they hear all the background noise, that, those kind of complaints. So it looks like we got that into place there. Okay, so I got that into, hopefully you're seeing that. Got that into place. Next step is to put the bottom and the top pieces on. So there's the bottom piece. Just kind of pushing that down and kind of will hold into place. Here's the top piece. And that will snap into place. And there's also a click here, so you gotta kind of push there. Oh no, I take that back. That's on the, the final piece. And then remember, all the screws are the same, so if you get them mixed up, not a big deal. Just remember this black screw goes right in this one. And all the rest just go back into place. Which I'm going to pause this because this video is already like almost 20 minutes. So, Okay, so I'm back. All I did was just put all those screws back in place. Don't want to bore you by doing, you know, making you watch that. So yeah, all those screws go back in place. Remember the black screw went right there. Now I'm putting this back plate on. This will just clip back into place. You'll hear it snap. Of course, you want to be gentle, like always. So gently pushing down. Now this is the one where right here there's a click, so there. And then try and turn it on. I probably need some more power. There it goes. Once your phone is up and working, and then of course test everything out. Camera, all that stuff. It's not working, don't panic. Maybe something didn't get connected completely correct. Oh man, my phone's super dead. Nope, see this bottom click needs to click in. There we go. And that's it. So I'll have to look this charge for a bit and um, we'll test it out. But that's the gist of it. That's how you put it back together. Any questions, feel free to, to um, leave a comment. Thank you.